After all of the months, weeks, days, hours of preparation, I can't believe it, but the final exam is finally here. So here goes nothing. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Steven and I am a first year dental student. Welcome to this video. This is something that I haven't really done before. I'm going to be filming a full week of my life in dental school. And this isn't any other week or any random normal week. This is in fact my first final exam week of dental school. I'm going to be taking you around with the camera all week as I prepare for probably one of the largest exams I've ever taken. It's now Monday and I have no idea what exactly this video is going to entail, but I can tell you one thing, it's going to be a lot of studying, a lot of coffee, hopefully a lot of fun for anyone who's watching. If you're a dental student like me, you could probably relate. And if you are a prospective dental student, then this is something for you to look forward to. Like I said, it's Monday. I'm doing all my preparations right now for this exam. My exam is on Friday, December the 4th and it covers all of my courses from this semester. So right now I'm doing my Anki preparation and I can show you there are tons of cards that I have to get through. These actually weren't made by me. These were made by one of my classmates who was very gracious to send them to me, but I'm doing a lot of prep, just answering these cards and getting through these. And I'll also probably do some prep with some of my own cards from the past, as well as some study guides and some, some past questions from, from other years. So all of this together will ho hopefully get me ready for this massive exam. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and liking this video. There's going to be a whole lot happening today and all week, and I'm super excited to take you along with me. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video and start with a nice study session. So one of the best ways to save time, money, and eat healthier is to meal prep. I'm a super big proponent of meal prepping. So today I'm going to turn this little pile of, of ingredients into uh, the first meal prep of the week. I'll be making another one tomorrow, but basically I'm just doing something simple. It's one I do pretty frequently, and that is ground turkey, which will be my protein. The carbs will be uh, quinoa, and then the veggies I'm gonna throw a bell pepper in with the ground turkey and then do some baked asparagus. Normally I would also do a, a white onion with the, with the ground turkey, but that's just uh, what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna throw this together while it's cooking. I'm gonna continue working on my Anki cards and this will be my lunch for the week. roughly and I have been working hard since lunch on my Anki cards. I've mostly been hitting biochemistry. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to work through my cards for a little bit and then I'm gonna get my scrubs on and get ready to head to campus for my final lab practical of this first semester, which is an operative dentistry practical and we're cutting a class two MO on number 30. So more on that to come in just a second. All right, so throwing the scrubs on and just getting ready to head to campus. 
This is going to be interesting. It being my last practical of the entire semester. It's kind of crazy that I'm already here, but I'm ready to get it over with and do well. And yeah, let's go get in the, in the car and head over to campus. And just like that, I am back home, finished up with my practical, and it went really well. It went super well. I'll go ahead and show a picture on the screen right now of what my practical tooth ended up looking like. So we have to, you know, we get two hours to spend on these teeth and we're not allowed to remove the Tybodont from the mannequin. So basically we have to cut the entire cavity preparation um, with the tooth in the mouth. Yeah, like I said, came out pretty good. The, the outline of my occlusal portion of the prep is pretty good. The proximal box was more opened up than some of the past preps that I've cut, which was good. The only portion of the prep that I wish I had done slightly better on was the lingual clearance, which is sort of the, um, the opening on the lingual side or the inside where the tongue is of the proximal box. So this is, uh, I guess this is some dental jargon. <laughs> if you're not interested, you can skip ahead. But I really, I wanted to include stuff like this in this video because before I started dental school, I really liked to see what exactly dental students were doing in their days. So that's why I wanted to include this little portion about the practical. That was my last lab of the semester. So I am officially just studying now for this final and that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of change into something a little bit more comfortable and literally get right back to the Anki. So yep, that was it. Practical's finished and it went well. All right, ladies and gents, that's going to be a wrap for this Monday of my final exam week. I got through about 1400 Anki cards today, which is a pretty good number considering all of the other things that I had to do. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot of work. Uh, it's like, what time is it right now? 11 o'clock, so you know, it's not super late. A lot of people would probably continue to study at this point, but I find that at this point in the night, I usually get pretty tired and I, I'm kind of just ready to to get some sleep and, and recharge and, and start again in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in bed and I will see you in the morning. So as I move away from the desk, I wanna take this quick opportunity to talk about why I am going to work out on a day like this when I have so much on my plate for a final exam. Okay, boom, there's that. I've talked about this in a video, but exercise is really important to me. If you wanna see that video, I can link that right here. I just think the exercise is probably the best way that we can separate ourselves from our studies and really effectively reduce the amount of stress that we're dealing with on a week like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the gym in my apartment and I'm first gonna do a run, probably probably like three mile run maybe. And then after that run, I will um, actually lift some weights. I'm trying to get back into lifting weights because I've been running a lot lately and I've lost a lot of muscle mass. So probably chest and biceps. So that's my plan and yeah, exercise is really important. So don't forget it in day on days like today where you're supposed to be studying all day. Sometimes I literally can't talk, like what the heck. Okay, also need to find shorts.
right, so that's going to be it for this workout. Like I said, just a couple miles run and then a little bit of chest and biceps. So next step of the day is to get back upstairs, eat lunch, and get right back to the books. All right, so I'm showered up and I forgot to last night take my meal prep out of the freezer and put it into the fridge. So I just had to thaw it out, but here is my lunch and I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and work on my dental morphology cards. Let's do it. Okay, so here we go. What the heck do we have here? So lighting has been a bit of an issue for me. This thing that I made, it's okay, but it's not super bright. And with this camera, I just need something a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this first. This is like not really super related, but it is related to the videos. Here we go. This is like a little uh, cinema light box sign thing. I saw it in some guy's video. I thought it was kind of cool. That is the first thing. All right, so this big boy right here, the big box, I'm gonna take over to the carpet and do it, open it up where I have a little bit more space. Okay, so yeah, if you haven't guessed by now, this is a set of new lights for my whole video shooting setup. Okay, so here is the current state of things. It literally looks like I've got a couple of aliens. Do you remember the uh, episode of Jimmy Neutron? This is kind of a dated reference, but the episode of Jimmy Neutron where there's the virus inside of Carl and they literally go and like try to get it. That's what these things look like. So look at this, two of them. Honestly, the <clears throat> putting them together hasn't been too bad. I've just been making a bit of a mess here in my room. So these things, I need to put the diffusion on the front and I think they're pretty much ready to go. Okay, so I've turned the ISO way down on my camera, but it is like the sun in here. I can't. I can't believe how bright this is. I'm pumped up about this. It's awesome getting upgrades for the videos and for this YouTube channel. Like I said, I, I really do enjoy it. So I'm, I'm happy to be able to upgrade some things here and there. So I'm gonna put these in like a slightly better position and get back to the studying because all the fun is over. Okay, so it's now about five o'clock at night and I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking dinner. And as I've mentioned a few times, it is spaghetti with meat sauce. And this is one of my favorite things to make because it's super easy, it fills you up, and it can be pretty healthy if you do it the right way. I'm gonna go ahead and get into that and show you what it looks like. So the time has come for me to throw in the towel on this Tuesday. Just a little bit of a recap on today. I did about uh, 1,500, let's see here, 1,523 Anki cards reviewed, which is a pretty good number considering I did you know, a lot of, uh, of extra things outside of just reviewing Anki cards. So I'm, I'm ready for some sleep now. But uh, tomorrow we will we will kind of do the same thing. One thing that I'm gonna do differently tomorrow is I'm gonna try to see if I can make it to a coffee shop and uh, change up the study scenery a little bit. So tomorrow for Wednesday, it will be second to last full day of studying before this exam, which is pretty crazy. I feel like there's still so much to do. So we'll just go ahead and get ready for that. Get a good night's sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. I am very tired on this Wednesday morning. You know, got to sleep past midnight last night, which is pretty late for me. And 
It's now 8.30, so it's, uh, I've been studying later in the night than I normally do and waking up later, which is kind of like the opposite of what I typically like to do. I typically like to go to sleep earlier and then wake up earlier. So the goal for today is uh, first up, breakfast coffee. I'm gonna take that to my desk and eat it and enjoy that. Start working on my Anki cards. Probably kind of similar deal, study till roughly noon and work out. And then after that, I might try and go to a coffee shop and just change up the scenery a little bit, rejuvenate there. So there's one really close to here. So I'll try that. Eat a couple meals. They're all cooked up, ready to go. Let's do it. Seize the day. All right, so I've got my breakfast here on this Wednesday morning. Another omelet. This one kind of came out better than yesterday. So Greek yogurt, a nice large black coffee as I like to drink and water. So I'm going to eat all this and uh, get to work on, on my day. switched over to the iPhone to make this filming process a little bit easier, but I'm currently walking to, like I said, a coffee shop really close to my apartment. And honestly, I think this is a really good idea if you are studying in the same location for many, many hours in the day. Sometimes it's nice to just change it up a little bit and go somewhere a little bit different. So I like to go to coffee shops because I like coffee and usually the environment's pretty, pretty relaxed and nice. So. That's what I'm currently doing. Also, I just have to say, Memphis, Tennessee, where I go to school, gets a pretty bad rap. And I understand, you know, why that's the case, but honestly, the area that I currently am in, which is the Edge District, it's pretty cool. So I'll show you a couple of the places that I like. We'll be over there in a second. I'll get a coffee and we'll get to work. So I was actually pretty productive in there and I got a good bit done. One tip for being in a coffee shop is definitely if you have like over the ear headphones that can prevent, you know, outside noise, that really helps. I don't have noise canceling headphones, but I do have some that cover my ears and it just kind of prevents the, the sounds that you get in a coffee shop. But yeah, just like going somewhere different and uh, changing up the scenery a little bit. And uh, sometimes that's all you need to get a little extra boost of motivation to study. So back to the room now and just gonna continue there. So that is going to do it for this Wednesday, a few days before my exam. I wanna just quickly say, if you're still watching this video to this point, I imagine it's going to be a long one. I appreciate you, thank you for being here. Even though this video and this week are both very long drawn out processes for me, there's a couple people probably watching at this point and honestly, I truly appreciate it. I can't thank you enough for your support. Today was a long one. Today was uh, kind of a grind, to be honest, especially towards the end. I did around, I reviewed around a thousand Anki cards, which is a lower number than what I've been doing in the past couple days. It's honestly kind of hard to describe how much information is on this exam. And other than the DAT, this is easily the biggest exam I've ever attempted in my life. These are the types of experiences that you hear about when you hear people talk about dental school and medical school. It's a grueling process and it's not for everyone, but if you can get through it, I think the, re the rewards are pretty great. I'm very, very excited to get some rest tonight and hopefully I sleep well so that I can you know, get ready for my last big study day of the week coming tomorrow on Thursday. So that's gonna do it for today. I will see you in the morning.
So all week I have been preparing for this massive exam and I've been talking about it nonstop. And a lot of you may be wondering what is actually on this exam? So I went ahead and put together a list of all of the content that I'm supposed to be responsible for. And it's a lot. Here we can see everything that's going on in this exam. You start out strong here with biochemistry, which is by far the largest course that we take. Just an absolute massive amount of biochemistry on this exam. Histology looks like it's not as much, but each of these lectures is actually bigger than each of the biochem lectures. Then we get dental morphology, which is basically understanding what every single tooth in the mouth looks like, and that is what all of these lectures describe. We go down to pathobiology. Pathobiology is sort of an introduction to periodontology. Then we have the operative dentistry portion of this exam, and that is going to be hopefully not too bad, but this is basic introduction to operative dentistry, starting mostly with class one, class two, and class five restorations. Then we get biomaterials, which we've been tested on once before. And finally, we have informatics on this exam, which is a strange course. So this massive amount of information is all going to be on the exam tomorrow. And of course, when you have all this information, you can't have an exam that's eight hours long. The exam itself is actually about two hours and 55 minutes. I'm not entirely sure why they didn't round that up to three hours, but it includes 180 questions over all of these concepts. At this point, it's about 4.30 and I'm starting to get a little bit tired of studying. <laughs> I'm not starting to get a little bit tired. I've been tired of studying. So I plan to once again eat my spaghetti for dinner, which by the way, has been aging like fine wine. Just kind of get through as much as I can. Don't do too much and we'll just see where I'm at. Gosh, dude, this is so much. So that is going to do it for today, this Thursday before my final exam. The only other thing I'm gonna do at this point in the day, other than maybe go through a few more Anki cards and just kind of like, rep a little bit more is to do a tradition that I randomly came up with before the first exam of the semester, which I will show you in just a second. I'll catch back up with you in the morning to show you my little morning routine before taking my exam. But before that, let me show you my little ritual. So test day is finally here. It is Friday morning at about 6.30. I have been up for a while now, showered, made breakfast, made coffee, and now I'm at my desk just uh, getting some extra work in on my Anki. So it's test day, it's time to do this thing, and I'm gonna get back to work and I'll check in with you really quickly before I actually start the exam. After all of the months, weeks, days, hours of preparation, I can't believe it, but the final exam is finally here. So here goes nothing. <laughs> well, I'm finished. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank goodness I'm finished. <laughs> it is over. The exam is done and I get to rejoice now because it is time for a nice long break. That's it, this semester is over and so is this video. Guys, I had a lot of fun making this video this week. It was pretty much the only thing that I enjoyed doing while studying all week. I found it weird filming an entire week of my life because each day, of course, I'm doing so many things and if I filmed all of it, the video would be ridiculously long. But I hope this video gave you a good sense of what it's like to be a first year dental student going through their very first finals week. I'm super, super happy that this week is over, that the final is over, and that I get to have a nice long break. I'm very grateful. And I look forward to having a little bit of free time to make some videos and to release some content for all of you. I know that the subscriber number is slowly climbing and that there are some people that are jumping on board and I appreciate every single one of you. So once again, if you're new to this channel, I make videos very similar to this. And if you wanna see more of them in the future, make sure you subscribe and also make sure you turn on your post notifications, the little bell next to the subscribe button. That'll let you know every time I upload a video immediately. Thank you so much again for being here and I look forward to seeing you next time. God bless each and every one of you and I'll see you in the next one. Let's go! Oh!